Welcome to W.B. Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night, the Mets opened a series in Atlanta and fell to the Braves 5-3. to three. Mets got back-to-back -back home runs in this game from David Wright and John Mayberry Jr., but ultimately it was their defense that cost them. It really did. It was two miscues by Wilma Flores that led to two unearned runs while Jonathan Neese was in there. And then David fielded a ground ball with Jace Peterson, who had come in to run for Chris Johnson, uh, approaching third base. David, instead of going to first to get the shore out, tried to tag Peterson. It was very quick. Peterson nimbly just got around him. And by the time he got the third and was safe, Andrelton Simmons, who hit the baseball, got all the way to second base. Peterson went, you know, he did a good job of trying to avoid the tag. He, David had him and just he was way out of the line by the time. You know, David could adjust. He was he was too close to the bag. So, um, you know, he he thought he had an easy play. Um, you know, he could have go, had, had gone to first with it. I, you know, Simmons can run. I think he probably thought, it, due to the fact the ball wasn't hit very hard with the wet grass, maybe just that would have been a better play for him. He was hit right in the baseline. So, caught it in the baseline and um, you know went to plant, and he just made a nice move right around me. Um, you know, like I said, you got split second to, to make a decision and uh, you know, at the time you think you make the right one and then um, you know he makes a nice move and uh, you don't get it out there and it obviously turns out to be the incorrect one. We gave him some extra outs two or three times and uh, you know like, as I told you at this level you're gonna get you're gonna get beat if you do that. And that cost Rafael Montero who then gave up a bases loaded hit to Phil Goslin that played at two runs in the bottom of the eighth and put the Braves over the top. John Neese had a Difficult outing for five innings, but he was able to negotiate his way through and left this high game. Yeah, both pitchers were the same. Eric Stoltz for the Atlanta Braves, both five innings for he and Nice. Uh, both gave up three runs, although Jonathan Nice might have had a, a little better chance to go six innings if the plays have been made in the field. My fastball command what definitely wasn't there. Um, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Uh, so I used my change up a lot. Um, didn't use my curveballs as much as I probably should have. Um, you know, we fought through it. You know, there's a lot of adversity and just got to fight through it. You know, that first inning, the leadoff homer um, just struggled with his command. And then as the, as the game progressed, he, he uh, found his pitches and, you know, we started working together. It's a tough loss today, but, you know, we we're going to fight back. And, and we're going to get them tomorrow. So the Mets fall to two and two on the season. They'll try and get even with the Braves on Saturday night. They'll have Dylan G making his first start of the year against Julio Tehran. Seven o'clock the game time on Saturday. That game will be on picks 11. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.